welcome to Carnegie UK Trust Rural Programme. Uh, the Trust has had a long association with rural communities right across the whole of the UK and Ireland for the best part of 90 years. And now we're carrying on in a new pioneering phase, working with some very inspiring communities right across uh, the UK. We've carried forward the vision that was provided for us by the Carnegie Commission who published their report in 2007. We're living in such changing times. We've just lived through a financial crisis and no doubt we're going to face uh, climate change and resource depletion. And we want to equip rural communities in the very best way to cope with these changes. There are three principles that guide our work. They're very straightforward. The first is Communities should build on what they've got. It's an asset-based approach to development, which proves to be very effective. The second, looking at the characteristics of the successful communities we've already observed. We've pulled these together in a model called the PETAL model. And finally, to promote this way of working, we have a community of practice for rural activists and policy makers and professionals where we can share these ideas. Hello, my name is Nick Wilding and I am working with Carnegie UK Trust Rural Programme facilitating the Community of Practice. The Community of Practice is really a chance for Carnegie to show how a new style of philanthropy can work in this century. What we're especially doing is creating events the likes of which you may not have experienced before. We measure the success of our events by the level of the buzz in the room, by the quality of the field trips. It's all about bringing people together in an environment where they're just able to get on with learning from each other and supporting each other. We think that's really valuable work and we'd like to invite you to come along with us. So as we live in the 21st century, we also have some amazing technology called FierySpirits.com. This is an online social network where those conversations can continue. We also have films, we have blogs, we have people posting pictures and some very, very hard edge content, which we think is leading the way in rural development in Britain, in Ireland, and beyond. At the core of our work is the demonstration activity of our host partners. These are organisations which bring exemplary rural development to the table, as well as fantastic venues for our events. The Eden Foundation is a world-class social enterprise and visitor attraction. Their work with engagement of local people in their Clay Futures projects, as well as sustainable placemaking with the Sensory Trust, is really very exciting and we're very happy to be able to share that in our partnership with them. Tipperary Institute in Thurlis, Ireland is working on encouraging people to participate in area planning both locally and also much more widely in Tipperary. They work with farmers, they work with local communities and their specialism in rural sustainability and resilience is building on many great strengths they've had over the years. The Falkland Centre for Stewardship is specialising in bringing the idea of stewardship to a wider and wider audience over the next few years. They're doing this through some very high profile and interesting projects, one of which, the One Planet Food Project, building on Fife Diet Programme where people were eating food from within the region of Fife for a year, is really promising. And that is just one of a whole number of events and areas of activity that Falkland Centre for Stewardship will bring to the community practice over years to come. The Centre for Alternative Technology in Mid Wales was founded in 1973 and they're going from strength to strength. They focus on the tools, technologies and lifestyles that will power the transition to a zero carbon Britain. I'm Jeff Brown, I work on the Rural Programme, especially on issues to do with food, farming and land use. I'm particularly interested in the new rural development programmes and especially the use of the leader approach by the many local action groups that have been set up throughout the UK and Ireland. As further changes are made to the common agricultural policy, new demands are being put on rural areas and rural communities to provide essential services for the future. They're going to have an increasing role in ensuring our food security, looking after biodiversity, providing access to the countryside for urban people, providing sources of renewable energy. My job is to help rural communities to turn some of these challenging policy issues into practice on the ground. Hi, I'm Kirsty. I'm the coordinator for the Rural Programme. I joined Carnegie in 2005 and I've helped Kate support the Commission for Rural Community Development. I've also helped her run the Rural Action Research Programme, which was co-funded by the Big Lottery. We have worked with over 40 different partners from across the UK and Ireland, and this work completes in 2009. 
we will be feeding this action research into our new community of practice. Moving on to the next phase, I'll be helping to support and develop our three main areas of priority. These are asset-based rural development, the PETL model and the community of practice. I'm looking forward to working with the team and our partners to put these ideas into action and also to produce a series of interesting events and publications. Hi, I'm Donna. I've worked with the Carnegie UK Trust for many years. I recently joined the, the rural team and I provide admin support and backup. I like the variety of work and the new people that I've met, which means no two days are ever the same. Um, I'm Diana Britton and i am just become a Carnegie UK Trust trustee, but before that I was uh, vice chairman and then chairman of the Carnegie Commission for Rural Community Development and we brought out our conclusions about two years ago and I'm very pleased now to have become a trustee. Probably ten years ago rural issues and certainly the issues of sustainability, climate change, assets, land use were much less known about and certainly much less politically important than I think they are today. Carnegie, having really been one of the leading trusts in the area of looking at rural issues, is in a fantastically good position to take all the issues forward together with government, local government, grassroots activists, people who have been very much engaged in the rural area. And I think that Carnegie has a real opportunity to be at the forefront of the whole issue about rural community development and how the rural communities contribute to the overall life of the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm.